My name is Janice Seagraves. I'm a published author of nine books and five short stories. Siobhan Muir has challenged me to do a video. She was actually wanting me to do a live video, but uh, I'm a little too nervous about doing one live, so I am doing uh, this recorded video. But hi, Siobhan, I'm giving you a shout out. Thank you for challenging me. Um, otherwise, I might not have done this at all. Anyway, this is, uh, I wanted to introduce you to my books. Um, this is my first one. It's a contemporary romance, and it's set in the Bahamas. Let me read the, the blurb really quick. Uh, the sole survivor of a plane crash, Megan is alone on a desert island in the Bahamas. And then she finds a nearly drowned man, another survivor, this time from boat wreck. With only meager survival skills between them, Will they survive on these windswept shores and can they find love? So this one uh, is available as an ebook for only 99 cents. Uh, it, it is available as a paperback too for you know a bit more than that. Uh, I also wrote the second one, and this one has a beautiful, beautiful cover by Lex Valentine. Uh, she works through Winter Heart Design. So if you need a cover done, um, you can do a lot worse than her. She, she uh, actually has uh, moderate prices and she does really, really great work. Uh, this one is uh, after the first book, of course. Megan and Seth are finally rescued off their little island. Just in case you wanted to know if they made it or not, they did. Uh, but things are far from idyllic as they treated to one nasty surprise after another, which puts all plans of a wonderful future in jeopardy. Will they ever get back together again or see the, the life they envisioned? Well, you'll have to read it to find out. Anyway, I went from contemporary romance to science fiction romance. And this one involves a couple on another planet. Uh, I'm going to read the blurb really quick. Team Alpha 3 spaceship is out of power after fighting a wormhole and parked on the primitive world of Zenavia. With half the team sick from radiation poisoning, the team commander entrusts geologist Maya Gladstone to find enough matrix crystals to power up their craft so they can go home. That Natame of the powerful clan Natame is a native of the planet. He has desired the lovely Maya since she stopped, stepped off the spaceship on an astonishing day a year ago. He's hounded her ever step since. As Million Knight approaches, he makes plans to take her as his bride, willing or not. Anyway, um, I wrote that one, and that is actually this is actually my bestseller. Um, this is the old cover that I have updated the cover since then, and it's um, uh, it, it's a nicer cover. Uh, Lex Valentine from Winter Heart Designs also did that one, and um, anyway, it, it's available for ninety nine cents, and the paperback course is a bit more. And uh, available from Amazon. All my books are available from Amazon, or you can go to Smashwords, or you can go to Barnes and Nobles. But you'll find more by books over on um, on Amazon. Anyway, uh, then I went on to write the, the second book, which this is the old, again the old cover. It's the homemade cover I made myself. And uh, this one is uh, Matrix Crystal Christmas. Uh, Matrix Crystal Christmas is made up of of two short stories, I wrote this collection for the fans of my novel, Matrix Crystal Hunters. In Matrix Flower Christmas, Vatch and Mayer are on a mission to undam the local river for the drought-stricken region. As heartache fractures their marriage, will the gift of a crystal flower mend their relationship or break it beyond repair? In the second book, in Crystal Clear Christmas, plague has struck the, the village of Zema, and the citizens blame the only human left on Zenavia, Maya. Will Vatch make the ultimate survive? Excuse me. Will Vatch make the ultimate sacrifice to save his wife? Well, you have to read it to find out. Now, I I did read did write more. Um, I have the book that's about their son, and this is a uh, Matis Crystal River, and it's about their son River. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll just read you the the blurb really quick. After 25 years, the earthlings were back. River Natame swears he'll never help the humans find matrix crystals until he meets Winona. Winona Miracle. Team Alpha 6's geologist, shy and vulnerable, 
The black hair, dark eyed beauty is all he wants, but he, is she ready to put aside her goals for him? Now, this one, I've actually never wrote a shy character before. Uh, my heroes, her, my heroines, I should say, are always uh, uh, confrontational, argumentative, uh, they take no prisoners kind of ladies. I like strong female heroines, but she's, she's shy, and that's uh, how I wrote her. And, um, but she, she ends up getting a boost of confidence for, from her love that she gets from uh, River. Now I went on and, and I wrote another one after this, and it's called Matrix Crystal uh, River, or excuse me, Matrix Crystal Rebels. And it's about Rain, and that's their daughter, Mammy, uh, Maya and Vacha's daughter. And she ends up with the love of her life. And, um, but I'm not going to read the the blurb for that one. I don't have the paperback on hand because I haven't made it yet. I, I will make it eventually. It will be out sometime this year. Um, and I wanted to uh, tell you about my um, anthology short stories. Now, the very first one I was ever in is this one. This is available through Keith Publications, also available through Amazon. And uh, this one was about my heroine who um, she's actually the granddaughter of Poseidon and she it's called Weather Witch let me just read you the, the, the back of it uh, Weather Witch regional regent excuse me regency nobleman Lord Godfrey is negotiating for a wife until Meredith literally storms into the manor then all bets are off as he tries to tempt to tempt you excuse me the tempt Tim uh, Pestuous nymph into marrying him, and uh, she's she has the singular way of showing her emotions. If it's uh, if it's raining, as she's upset or crying. If there's uh, thunder and lightning going on, she's angry. If it's blue skies and sunshine, well, she's uh, happy. So, anyway, this is my story, and I had a lot of fun writing it. And I went on to write. Um, Drag, well, first of it was uh, roping in Roping the Cowboy, I uh, was challenged to write a cowboy book. And I have this family that I have been working on their stories for years and years and decided I to start with the, the brother. And um, anyway, the, the brother, his name is Maxwell. He goes by Max or Maxwell. And... Um, they, he has this uh, ability to uh, feel uh, animals' emotions, and he can kind of give them a mental mud, nudge and make them do what he wants. And uh, he ends up working on a dairy where this girl that he has had a crush on since high school lives, and uh, they end up getting together. I won't tell you anymore because I'd be ruining it. Uh, after I wrote his story, I wrote his uh, sister's story. And that's um, Gwen Deville. And she had, her ability is different because each one in the family, they have their own abilities. And her ability manifests in the way that she can feel um, another person's emotions. If uh, somebody's sad, she, it, she, she feels sad. If somebody has a headache, she has a headache. Um, but if you, uh, if you're, get, if she gets, well, people like a, attack her and they make her really mad she has its ability of pulling out the worst memory that person has and giving it to them making them really relive it so she can really kick ass so anyway i wrote her story and her story is uh cowgirl up max's story is uh follow your cowboy heart now i'm working on story two but i'm i'm staying with gwen with the second story or the third story which will be, right now, it's called um, Cowgirls Don't Cry, um, but I may as well be calling it Cowgirl Up 2 because really it's it's uh, her story again. Uh, it's either in Simply Irresistible or uh, Summer Nights of Delight, and to tell you the truth, I don't know which one it's in. But anyway, I'm going to uh, continue with Gwen, and um, I also need to tell you about uh, and, and this uh, other series that I've started, and it's called The Chronicles of Archon. And uh, this one is about um, about uh, 
space aliens from another planet, Ar planet Archon. And um, the first of the miniseries is already out, and it's called Exodus Archon. And it's basically about why they left their planet, uh, the trip coming here. Let's see, the first one is why they left the planet. The second one is the trip out here. They made it to, the, to our solar system. And then the uh, the last one is the first Archons that basically got came to Earth, but things go awry and they have to deal with the uh, fallout. And uh, the first book you meet uh, Keith Blade and their little brother Paz. In the uh, second one, uh, it's um, Keith Blade and Paz again. The third one, you actually meet somebody else. It's uh, Keith. Uh, it's the story centered around Blade, but he has to bodyguard Dr. Lasky when he comes to Earth. And um, then the uh, the first book of the uh, the series that's not in the miniseries is called um, Alien Heart. And Alien Heart uh, has to do with Blade and Keith uh, meeting their mate, Audrey. And uh, so you can imagine things get a little... Uh, awry when uh, they're uh, basically challenging each other and they both want the same woman and um, and what what goes wrong can grow wrong and um, and then she gets very mad both of them but anyway you'd have to read that one find out more um, there's going to be 12 books in the big main series and um, like I said uh, I don't really like normal. I do things that, that are rather out there and uh, I do uh, like uh, my science fiction and I do have a oh and I have a, a standalone. I should tell you about that one. It's um, got a split screen going here so anyway it's called The Year of the Cat and it's about a Scottish werecat and I'm not talking a big werecat. I'm talking about a small one but uh, he uh, he does meet his mate and um, and things and he's Scottish so he has the Scottish accent and and when it starts out he's um, working for a werecat clan that's actually not his so you can read more about that and, and how he meets Morgan and everything and uh, there's two very very hot scenes in there I have to warn you apparently I've caught a few people out off guard with that but it, it's it's it, really good, and that one is available through Amazon. I can't remember if it was two ninety nine or one ninety nine, but anyway, they are um, all my books are available from Amazon or Smashwords or I think Barnes and Nobles. Uh, and anything that uh, that Smashwords uh, publishes through. The only ones that aren't there yet are I think um, Year of the Cat and uh, Matrix Crystal Rebels. Those two aren't available on Barnes and Nobles yet, and they're not available on Smashwords yet, but I will eventually get them there. Um, I am working on more stories, more books, and hopefully, I, I can't really make a lot of promises for this year because it's really up in the air. Uh, we had a tragedy in my family. Unfortunately, my stepfather died, and uh, after a very long illness this last year was very very hard on him and um anyway uh he passed away um a few weeks ago and uh we might be taking my mother in so uh i'm going to give up my office and um, i'm going to be working in the living room and i can do it because my first few books were written in the in the um, living room of my old house it was actually a very long uh, living room, dining room, and then my office in the corner, and um, I, I did it. I did it then. I'll do it again, and um, I will continue to write because this is my singular joy in life is writing, and of course my grandchildren, and uh, I, uh, I want to promise you that I will continue to write, and I want to wish everybody a, a happy early spring, and uh, happy Easter, which is coming up really soon. And I want everybody to have a great day. And please check out my website. It's at um, Janice-Seagraves at um, .org. And I'm also on uh, Amazon. I have my, my uh, author page there. 
Uh, I also have an author page with uh, romance, romance books for us, and uh, and I usually write with uh, the uh, group of ladies there. They're really, really talented bunch, and I feel privileged to be with them. And uh, anyway, I will see everybody later in my next video. And uh, this was Janice Seagraves signing out.